hello all welcome to another interesting video on our behavior channel today we are going to look on dashboards part 3 video so we have already prepared two videos on dashboards dashboard part 1 and part 2 so if you haven't watched those videos you can go back and watch those videos so in today's video we are going to understand dashboard graphs for fetching details of output so we are going to look in today output, output per hour and output by hour line graph. So let us begin without wasting a lot of time. So this is the model we had used in our last part 2 video. So we have 3 processors, 3 queues and next 3 queues in output and then we have a processor queue and then we have a sync. Now what is the thing is we need to understand how are we going to find out the details like what is the output from my processor 1, processor 2 and processor 3. So for that we can use output graph. So there are two options here table and bar chart. Most probably we use a lot as that bar chart. So the moment we bring in the bar chart it looks like this. This is the property window for the graphs of the throughput graph. And here we need to select the processors. So this is the same graph which you could look here. We have already pulled in and we have assigned three processors onto it. And we will just reset and we'll just run and check out how it looks like. So this is only related to output. So whatever the output is being taking place, the graphs get updated automatically. So if you click on the processor here and you go in the statistics of the processor, the output which you look here is the output you're going to get it on these graphs. So this you can create separate graphs or separate processors or you can composite this in a single graph. So this is what we can do and this is all about the output graph. So now what we're going to do is we are going to reset this model and understand the next category in the output graph. So we have output per hour. So this is that graph we have considered. Now here if you could look at in the properties of the output per hour graph, we can select what processors or entities we need to analyze for throughput. Then we have interval here. So if you could look at here is what you have to select. So what interval you require. Now this we have selected output per hour, you require it per day, you require it every 12 hours. So we have an interval selected here and you can get that interval rate accordingly so we have currently created it per hour so we will just look at how it has been calculated and then we have the rest of the properties all same which we had seen in our video one so now what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to reset and we are just going to run and check what is the output per hour so now here what i'll do is i'll just stop it after an hour okay so but this is an the, the units for the model you can look so if you go here you see here model units these are in seconds so what does it mean this has ran for a minute okay and a minute is what we can check so if you click here i'll just reset we are going to run it for 60 seconds and we're going to check what is my throughput per minute so if i so basically this is not per hour this is per minute as the interval we have selected is per minute so if you could look at we are seeing the value of five okay five minutes here now if i change this interval to uh, say one hour as it was initially so I'll just run and you can see it will straight away give you a throughput rate of one hour. So you have seen when it was one minute, what we saw is that K was five parts for processor one, two and three. And when we change this interval to hour, it is now showing that this processors are capable of giving us 300 pieces an hour. Now if I just move this to say a day, let us check how much parts we are going to get in a day and you could look at it is going to give us 7200 parts per day so this is what is the beauty of the graphs we have here which gives us the throughput rate based on the interval we require now if we changes to the day 
let us see the graph should change to day so output per day so our graph is now output per day so this is the beauty of this another type of the graph we have here that is output per hour but that is customizable to a lot of intervals so now let us see about third chart that is output by hour so output by hour is basically a line chart so if you could look at and I'll just reset and run. So basically here also just we need to select our processors into place and then we are just going to run in and it is going to give us the throughput at certain instances of the time. So when I run this, it has to be giving us a throughput rate. So if you look at here, we have this 359 and so and I need to make it faster and if you could look at at every interval of time green is for processor orange is for processor 2 and blue is for processor 1 so this way we do get the graphs in a line format so thanks for watching the video till end this is all about the graphs of output so we have seen output output per hour and output by our line chart in today's video we will be coming up with a next video of part 4 where we will be covering another set of graphs which are used in Flexim for analysis purpose. So the question for today's video is what is the difference between the output per hour graph and output by hour line chart and what are their advantages? Do comment your answers in comment section of this video. If you have any queries related to our video, do comment us in the videos comment section. We like your comments. If you haven't visited our website beaverchannel.com, do visit beaverchannel.com. We have a lot of exciting stuffs for you. Do not forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel because your support really motivates us to bring such exciting videos on our channel so let us meet in another interesting video of be aware till then stay safe stay simulating